This is a petty revenge story. Heck yeah. Titled, Dressed Overly Casual at a Designer Store So That the Rude Sales Reps Wouldn't Get Commission. Yeah, I dig it. I don't typically buy a lot of designer clothing, but when I do go shopping, I dress pretty casually. Last week, I was strolling through the mall, and there was a designer backpack on display that caught my attention. I went inside the store wearing a hoodie and ripped jeans and went to inquire about the price of the backpack. I waited around for 10 minutes for someone to help me until I decided to go up to one of the sales representatives myself. She told me to wait because she was helping another customer, so I sat down and waited. I saw her in the corner of the store just standing, not doing anything. I decided to wait another five minutes for her to come back, but she never did. I walked back up to her and told her I wanted to inquire about the backpack. I asked her if she could bring one from the back room so I could take a closer look at it. She told me that she wouldn't be able to do that unless I was planning on purchasing the item. She seemed annoyed with my request. Before I could say anything, she quickly walked away to help another customer. I'm quite young, 25 female, and I could tell she didn't think I was serious about purchasing it and didn't want to waste her time. I would have actually purchased it then and there if she hadn't been so dismissive. A few days later, I went back into the store. This time, I made sure to dress even more casually than before. I walked in with a pair of sweatpants, running shoes, a tank top, and zip up. The same lady was working that day and turned her back to me as soon as I walked in. I went up to one of the other sales representatives. This guy was younger, smiling, and seemed eager to help, and I told him I wanted to purchase the backpack, and he gladly went inside and got it for me. He even asked if I'd like to take a look at it before buying. I thanked him, and he checked me out. The store manager was also by the cashier, and I let him know that I came in last week and that the lady wouldn't let me see the product before purchasing it. He was upset to hear about this and told me it wasn't the first time he had received a complaint about her. The item was a few grand and all the commission went towards the junior. He was so kind and grateful. She avoided eye contact with me after she got told off by her manager and I smiled at her as I walked out of the store. Don't judge a book by its cover. Pretty woman vibes, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Also, this shit really happens. It really freaking happens, which just blows my freaking mind. It really, really happens. This kind of shit has happened to like Candy Thunder. It happened when we were on vacation out in Florida. Uh, yeah, it was, which I don't understand at all. But but the whole dressing casually versus dressing up things, I, I certainly don't understand how you would how you would look at whether somebody's dressed casually or dressed up and judge them that way. That doesn't make any sense at all. Some of the most expensive shit is the casual shit. It's just really comfy. It doesn't make any sense. Like dressing up does not mean that. I don't understand. I don't understand it at all, but it is a certain kind of person who passes judgment by aesthetics alone and is an absolute just stanky shit about it. And the guy, the guy that did this whenever it happened to Candy Thunder was like a, was like a middle-aged guy. And clearly, you know, a, he looked like the manager of the store that we were in and was very, very snooty and dismissive. And it pissed me off, but she, you know, Ladies, unfortunately, you deal with this a lot or you might deal with this a lot, certainly more so than I have ever I have ever encountered. But I I wanted to go confront the person about it because I'm like, this is bullshit. Uh, Candy Thunder is better than that. And, you know, she would go the petty revenge route. So uh, but it just pisses me off. It pisses me off to see people doing this kind of shit and, you know, think that they're better than everyone. It just doesn't make 